Right, it is November 2021 and we are off to another South Island ladies' hunt going tar hunting. As some of you may have heard, we did a the first annual ladies hunt in Mavora Lakes, uh, Anzac weekend last year, and it was an absolute blast. It was really great, it was really encouraging. Ladies had an awesome time, and what we found is that a lot of women, they go hunting with like their partner or their dad, and um, you know, they're, they're usually just following along, you know, following in their footsteps, and that's, that's absolutely awesome. And then when you take it to this level, now it's ladies hunting with ladies, and it's, you know, every one of those steps is, is in their hands, and it's a real learning experience, and um, it's really awesome. So it's actually their, their first time having a go at, okay, figuring out, all right, we're going to go to that next ridge, spotting animals, shooting it, recovering it, all of that, their decisions. It's really cool. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, growing up myself, I didn't have anyone to take me out hunting. Um, it was just a passion. It was something I wanted to do. Um, literally learned how to gut a deer from a YouTube video, you know, so I wish I had something like this. And, um, yeah, this is... The, the NZDA has been, been awesome for that. Um, I'm actually a hunts instructor as well. Um, they do an educational program, uh, kind of intro to hunting for people, and, and actually take them out and, and go through the whole beginning to end process. Um, it's really cool. Totally encourage anyone to do it if you haven't. And then this is, um, I mean, this isn't a, a hunts thing, but we're going to turn it into an educational thing because actually the tar this time of year are, are giving us the morning off. Uh, they come out in the afternoon and evening and uh, we've got a good stock planned. So, uh, so we're going to take the opportunity in the morning to talk about hunting, to talk about prepping and gear and the animals themselves, about conservation. Uh, you know, about the, the mix of animals that we're going to see out there in the time of year and which ones are um, probably better to take um, than others at this time of year. Um, we're going to talk about shooting, um, uphill and downhill, which might be a bit different than, uh, than what you're used to out in the bush. And um, also, you know, recovery and, um, yeah, just, just ask questions, really learn, learn from each other. And um, we're going to even have a practice, yeah, practice shot so that everybody's comfortable with that, and um, yeah, we'll definitely we'll definitely see some animals, and I'm, th I'm thinking some girls are going to bring some home too. Saturday morning, it's an absolutely beautiful day and uh, we got up early at about six, everybody's having breakfast and um, generators going in the background, which is good, we've got some power to charge up cameras and um, after breakfast we'll start doing some target practice and go through some learnings for tar hunting, uh, have an early lunch here and then set off, I think we're going to take three or four trucks out take us a bit closer to where we're going to be walking in and uh, yeah should be a stunning day right now good morning everyone yeah. Yeah. Is everybody yeah. probably caffeinated yeah. 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 harder than i am no that's all right that's right <laughs> 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 well, we've got a cracker day hopefully the uh, the animals will play ball for us today like i guarantee that at least somebody in this room is going to see an animal make as well is um, shoot twice. Mm -hmm. They're they're mm -hmm. tough animals. They've got they've got thick skin. They've got big tough brisket, and they're tough to take down. Mm -hmm. Take your time gutting. Take your time processing. Enjoy the moment. Um, spend the time. Well, I was gonna say that the hard the hard bit is actually coming at that point. But uh, take, nah. take take a rest um, and cool the meat down before you before you stick it in the bag before you rush off. You back. Okay. Have we got everybody? Is everybody here? Raise your hand. Yeah. Okay, good. If you don't see it, raise your hand. <laughs> if you're not here, raise your hand. It's alright. Um, so handy handy tricks for when you're seeing animals up on the hill. Yeah. Let the glasses do the walking, honestly. Um, get comfortable when you're glassing. When you're standing here like this, there's a bit of strain to your neck. Your yeah. hands are moving a bit, especially when you've got something far away you're trying to focus on and really look. Oh, is that a tussock or is that a yeah. tar? Don't be afraid to sit down, use tussocks as a bench, 
use your pack for a rest to lean against. That, that bullet leaving your gun is basically the only thing you have control over, right? You can't control the weather, you can't control the animals, you can't control anything else but you and your shooting position. So it's really, really important that it's solid. Um, so, yeah, some people use bipods. I, I like them, some people don't. Um, they can be a pain in the ass when it comes to slinging it over your shoulder. Now it's, oh, it's digging in, it's kind of in the way, it adds weight, so some people don't shoot with them. So it's really just, yeah, again, Personal finding choice. what works for you. I've got okay. quite a thick bino holder, and sometimes I just set it on top of there, like across. Mm. Oh, yeah. It sits yeah. there, it's quite amazing, really. Just sit it there like that, especially if I'm bush hunting. That's actually not bad. It's quite good. So it's gotta go <laughs> and then it's pretty close. Because then I can like move it like, like right there. And you kind of feel like Rambo. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> real tough. I'm in I'm in Nam. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Alright, everybody's stoked. Everybody took a couple of shots uphill. Check if the rifle's alright. We've got our maps, we've got our hunting blocks. It's lunchtime, everybody had a quick bite to eat. And um, just loading up the trap, getting ready to go. Woohoo! <laughs> So three of us are going in the last block along this stream, so we've got the furthest to walk, about three hours. We've got two other teams that are going with us for part of the way, and they'll go up some of the side streams. I haven't gone far yet, but it's absolutely frosty. I've only just started and it already feels like mountain goat territory. You're already warm! Should have brought some cold beers, Jess. Should have done. We made it. First tar trip? First tar trip. Awesome. <laughs> excited. Really excited, yeah. Brilliant. Is this your first hunt at all or? Yeah, I guess so. I did the hunts course a few weeks ago, but that was guided, so yeah, this is my first one. Awesome, cool. Well, let's hope we have good luck. Yes, we will. So the track we were looking at on our map goes through that river bit in the bushes, and we're just looking out for little rock cairns like that one. Find our way, so and pay attention to where you're going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're not going that high. Uh, no. But this is where they are. <laughs> you lead the way, Rachel. I think they can stay here today. We're only an hour into our walk up the riverbed and we've already seen tar. So cool. There's a mob of them moving up the hill on the opposite side of the valley. It's amazing though, they blend in so well, as soon as you take your eyes off them, they vanish. <laughs> Boom, first mission accomplished. We've all seen Tar on the trip. So we've just left our lunch spot. Corn spotted a ton of nannies up the mountain. Um, pretty cool when you get your eye in and you see them everywhere they're big um, a lot of the nannies are pregnant um, some of them had a kid from last year with them so we're not going to shoot the nannies up there so we're just continuing down the riverbed having a look if we can find another good spot to glass the sun's starting to um, get a little bit lower it's getting a bit cooler but Still absolutely beautiful and warm. It's great. Let's see if we can 
find a bull tie somewhere. You got one? Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. We finally spotted a bull at 340 meters. She'll be able to get closer while he's behind that bush. Get on you there for walking all that distance. Oh, I hit and you got like close to a ball. Oh, I mean, there'd be nothing worse than just getting there and blaming Mitty Gary and going, meh. So I thought, I've got to be able to pick a way through here, surely. Uh. Back up the hill. How was your first time? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was good. Very good. Did you see lots? Yeah, yeah. So a group of uh, twelve, and then uh, that was like nannies. Yeah. And then three bulls kind of popped out. Um, we were running the day, but unfortunately the wind changed and we kind of scared them off. Oh, well. at least we all got to see something. Yeah, it's getting dark. It is. Are we there yet? Six Ks. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, we've just got back to the trucks. There is one, two, three, four, five, six of us. Team two and team two, team three. How many should there be? <laughs> <laughs> and we're just waiting on the last party to come back and um, they went up really high and far apparently and they must be carrying the animals down because they're taking forever. It's really late. It's um, 20 past midnight actually. Bring it in the light. Oh, oh, we're fine. It was just to tell uh, you we're fine. Awesome. Oh, cool. Wait, so we, so we heard you. We heard you on the radio that you were like talking to each other, of, like, oh, you know, where you were. Oh, so, yeah, okay. so, so we're like, okay, at least, at least they're, you know, because you were like, oh, we're gonna be cool. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Okay. Well, what is it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, very nice. Oh, big body too. Did oh, you get him on? You didn't take the cape. Nice. Oh. No, he was um he was molting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was buggers. Yeah. 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 Good on you. That's amazing. So Kitty, how'd the tie hunt go? Oh, it was bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Weather turned it on for us this weekend. Although, um, yeah, that was actually didn't work to our detriment a bit. Uh, made the tar go higher. They didn't quite behave. They didn't get the memo, but that's all right. Um, but hey, yeah, no, it was a great time. Um, I'm so proud of these girls, really. I mean, it takes some guts to show up to something like this, especially when you don't know anybody, especially if you're new to tar hunting. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, tar, tar make you earn it, even even this time of year, and um, everybody at least saw animals. That's that. I, technically, that's all I promised. You kept but every, promise. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody saw animals, everybody had, you know, some, some close calls and some action that was awesome. Um, we learned a lot, you know, it was just, it was a really good intro to tar hunting for somebody who was new to it, and you know, put, put them through the hard yards, but not that hard. So it was good, good intro. And um, yeah, no, I mean, to see the animals, to really pick up on, okay, this is, this is what I'm looking for. This is the kind of behavior that we've got. Oh, okay, oh, I know, I, I understand now that's a bull, that's a nanny, all that sort of thing, and, and how to age them, how to, how to gauge it. Stalking, which wasn't always successful, but that's okay, you know, to, to have a go, that's, that's hunting, right? I mean, um, you know, we saw animals and we all learned something.
well, some more than others, <laughs> and um, and that's that's hunting, man. That was brilliant, and, and we, had um, one and we successful did successful hunt, didn't we? We absolutely did, absolutely did. Successful for everyone, and especially Kate, who who got a, a, a beautiful bowl, and uh, yeah, super pleased with that. So um, and everybody was everybody was safe. Everybody communicated well. We worked well as a team, um, as we always do, and uh, yeah, made friends. We, you know, we're already planning planning more trips and um, yeah every, everybody left saying when's the next one when's the next one so uh, yeah we'll definitely be doing this again so when's the next one Katie? oh when's the next one? well at, well at the very least uh, Anzac weekend we'll do we'll go back to Mavora and um, and I think this one works really well for for November it's a you know a good time of year and again it's 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 good clean country it's good to cut your teeth on and um, yeah no I think there's gonna be some some side mi missions in between as well awesome can't yeah. wait thanks Cheers. so much for organizing you're welcome No, 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 go, oh, no, go. No, no, I've got no, the no, camera no, rolling no, now because <laughs> at least it'll get her laughing. Oh, laugh, big bucks in a can, can not laugh. You don't need to do that. Hopefully it's not so done. <laughs>